In this video, we're going to look at January the 2nd, five a day solutions for the higher set. So the first question is to solve x squared equals 51 plus 14x. Whenever I'm asked to solve a, uh, something like this, what I tend to do is want to bring it all over to one side, like so. So x squared minus 14x minus 51 and equals 0. Now there's different ways you can solve this. You could solve it graphically, but that'll take a bit of time. You could solve it using the quadratic formula. The way I would try to solve this is to factorize it to begin with and then see if you can get the solutions that way. So let's put our brackets down, bracket, 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 equals 0, and x at the front of both of them. Now the two numbers will multiply together to give you minus 51, and add together to give you minus 14, because it's just an x squared um, quadratic, or the coefficient's 1. So, um, 51, minus 51, let's go for minus 17, and plus 3. Let's just check, minus 17 times 3 is minus 51, minus 17 plus 3 is minus 14. So let's then get our solutions. Well, we know that the two things will multiply together to give you zero. That means that each bracket could be zero. So that means that x could be 17, or it means that x could be equal to minus three. And there are two solutions, x is 17 or x is minus three. Okay, so let's do the second question. The second question is a similar shapes type question. And the first thing I'd wanna do in a question like this is find the scale factor of an enlargement. So 10, to get to 15, you'd multiply by 1.5. So that means that the smaller triangle, whenever you times the sides by 1.5, you're going to get the sides of the bigger triangle. So let's then work that out. So th this side here with x. Well, if you multiply x by 1.5, so 1.5 times x, that's going to equal the length of the whole side. Well, the length of the whole side would be x plus 6. So it's going to be x plus 6. And if you then take away x from both sides, well, that's 1x. If you take it away from 1.5, you get 0.5 x equals 6 and if you double you're going to get x equals 12 so that means this side is 12 let's just check that 12 times 1.5 is 18 12 plus 6 is 18 um, or remember it's half bigger so you know, because you times by 1.5 it's half bigger so that'd be half of 12 is 6 add on is 18 yeah okay this side again you could do a little equation you know uh, you could do what well, 8 times 1.5 equals the length of the whole side, which would be 8 plus y. 8 times 1.5 is 12, equals 8 plus y. Take 8 off both sides, we'll give you y equals 4. Let's just check that. Remember, if you times it by 1.5, it'll get a half bigger. Well, 8 times 1.5 is 12. Um, so if you add on 4, that would be 12. And yeah, that's right. OK, the next question. The next question says, find the volume of the cone. So the volume of a cone is given by the formula volume equals a third pi r squared times the height. So that's going to be equal to, let's just find what the radius is. The radius is 4 and the height is 10. So let's just substitute those in. So we're going to get a third times pi times 4 squared times 10. And if we work that out in your cal on a calculator, you get the answer 167.55 centimeters cubed. Okay, the next question. The next question says we're to calculate the bearing of A from B. So that means we should draw a north line at B that's where we're starting from and we want to get the bearing that goes to a so that's going to be the anti-clockwise angle from north right around to the line so that's this angle here we're trying to find so if we use trigonometry because this is a right angle triangle if we use trigonometry to find this angle here um, let's just call it x then we can take it away from 360 and find the angle on the outside so we've got a right angle triangle this side would be the opposite and this side, well, this is the hypotenuse, but we're not using that one. And this is the adjacent. So it's going to be two old angels or tan. So tan x equals tan is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 40 over adjacent is 5. Um, likewise, you could use two old angels and work it out that way. Okay, so that means that tan x is equal to 8. And then if we want to find the angle, we're going to do the inverse tan or shift tan of it, or arc tan of it, and that will give us our angle. And whenever we do that, we get that's equal to 82.9 degrees. So this angle here is 82.9 degrees, but we want the angle on the outside, this angle here. So if we take that away from 360, so 360 minus 82.9, that'll give us the, uh, the, the bearing. So 360 minus 82.9, that's equal to, uh, 277.1 degrees or 277 degrees 
Okay, and the last question is the rationalized the denominator. So here we've got um, a fraction. We've got 3 plus root 2 over root 3. And rationalizing the denominator means we want to get rid of the third on the bottom line. We want to get rid of this root 3. So we're going to times both the top and bottom off the fraction, the numerator and denominator, by root 3. If we do that, we're going to get root 3 and then brackets 3 plus root 2 on the top line. And the bottom line, we'll just get 3. If we then expand the top line, we're going to get 3 root 3 plus root 6, all divided by 3. And we can't simplify this because, okay, the first term we could divide by 3, but we can't divide the root 6 by 3, so that's it, we're finished.